All right, Andrew, did you tune in at all? A little bit, actually. Well, little I was bit? doing some graphics <laughs> in the office, yes. Uh, okay, so obviously, weather's always on our mind, but yes. tomorrow, of course, we have the eclipse. I'm going to go over what we're going to see in just a second, but this is also a good reminder that if you don't already have your glasses, and they are starting to get hard get to come glasses. by, you cannot look directly at it. I know we say that all the time, but you really can, in just a matter of seconds, really cause damage to your eyes. If you do have glasses, make sure that they say ISO 123122. That means that they are official and you'll have a good chance to view it and see it tomorrow. You always come to us with the best information. The most important thing we need well, to know tonight is that. Is this, this <laughs> right here, right here. And if there will be any cloud coverage. And that's the second most yes. important information. Because listen, if we had completely dark skies this season, then well, we're not going to be able to see it. Here is where the totality will be 100%. Areas like San Antonio, up toward Waco, Texas, Dallas, Tyler, Texarkana, Glenwood. This is now getting into Arkansas. If you're in this area, Tomorrow, this is our future cast by about 2, 2 o'clock, all the way through about 3 o'clock. It's not going to be too terrible. There will be some clouds here and there, but you should have a pretty good view of this. And by the way, all Airbnbs are sold out within this area. So we saw a lot of people already making their plans to go see this thing. Unfortunately, for those of us that maybe traveled up toward Erie, Pennsylvania, right on the lake, and then maybe even to upstate New York, it is going to be a really cloudy cover. New England, though, will be great. Back here at home, clear to partly cloudy skies. And while we won't be at 100%, it'll look like this at about 90%. So a little sliver of sunshine through. But we'll have mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Mixed skies, really, tomorrow. So hopefully we can get underneath a little bit of sun. But it'll be a deal where if you're at the Jersey Shore, you might have a better view than people in Philadelphia or vice versa. We'll just have to watch tomorrow. It's not going to be a perfect sky out there, but it's certainly in the afternoon will be decent viewing. Let's go over our future cast. Overnight tonight, we'll have temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Tomorrow, a nice bright start, but then here comes some of those clouds. So I'm going to stop this first at noon. Temperatures, by the way, in the upper 50s and low 60s. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll be well into the 60s, a little bit higher than we should be this time of year. Not bad. So the thing starts a little after 2 o'clock. Here's 2.30, mixed skies. Here's 3 o'clock. Again, pockets of sunshine here and there, so it's really going to depend on where you are in this area, if you're underneath more cloud cover, if you're underneath more clear sky, to actually see that. By 5 o'clock, I think more of us are actually mostly cloudy, so hopefully we can have that window in the afternoon of some nice viewing. That's Monday. Now we get into Tuesday. We're back to normal. Eclipse is over for the next 20 years. And then we have temperatures back in the 40s to near 50 early Tuesday morning. Look at Tuesday afternoon by lunchtime, upper 60s and low 70s. Some of us could be in the mid to even upper 70s Tuesday. Tuesday is a warm day. So, yes, we're going to be talking about some really nice uh, conditions there. I'm not sure what happened behind us here, but. Uh, We'll go back and see. Temperature 63 degrees today, the average high 61. So we're already looking at uh, some pretty good conditions. I am not sure what's going on here. Good night. I hope everybody does have a good night. Uh, but we're just going to have to pay attention to what's on top of this. Feels like 43 out there. 45 degrees is what it actually is in central uh, Center City. 39 degrees, Mount Pocono. 47 in Allentown. And you can see that by the middle of the week, by Wednesday, we're introducing our first chance for a couple of showers. We remain mild by the end of the week, but we are introducing more showers even by the time we get into your Thursday and your Friday. Average high this time of year, 61. Look where we're going to be this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 60s, if not 70s. Here's your seven-day forecast now. We're talking about 75 on Tuesday. Rain returns Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but what doesn't return are the cooler temperatures. So we re really start to dry things out by the weekend with temperatures in the low 60s Saturday and Sunday. Guys, 